Welcome back everyone to Most Amazing Top 10. We often do science videos on here that are supposed to be fun, interesting, but sometimes scientists can provide us with some pretty scary information. One example is man-made climate change, the gradual warming up of the earth and disruption of the climate that is affecting people, plants, animals and the entire ecosystem all over the planet. They say a picture speaks a thousand words, well here are some of the best for you now. My name is Danny Burke, this is the Top 10 Shocking Climate Change Pictures. Also before we jump into this, I want to tell you guys that we're going to be having our first ever most amazing meetup. It's finally happening after all this time. It's going to be at Dundas Square in Toronto starting at 2 p.m. sharp. Bring your most amazing t-shirts and we will sign the first few that we see. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know a lot of you guys won't be able to make it to Toronto though, but stay tuned because we'll be announcing more places soon. Coming at number 10 now, we have the Great Barrier Reef. This picture was shared by medium.com to show the widespread damage across 95% of the reef due to a bleak event. In early 2017, marine biologists found hundreds of miles of coral ecosystems were damaged due to sea temperatures warming above the normal range for corals. Next up at number 9 now we have Svalbard. Christian Asland is a photojournalist who works with Greenpeace and he did a project comparing the glaciers of Svalbard, Norway over the past 100 years or so. These images really speak for themselves. Norway has seen dramatic reductions in the size of its glaciers and Christian hopes his startling pictures will bring awareness to the cause. Moving on to number 8 now we have the river Ganges. India's most famous river supplies millions of people with the water they need for survival. Its seasonal flooding is a necessary and natural phenomenon, but climate change is thought to be responsible for excessive flooding there as seen in these pictures. The 2015 flood hit eastern and central India hard. Over 6 million people were affected by it and at least 300 lost their lives. Next up at number 7 now we have Larsen C. In November 2016, scientists photographed this 70 mile long 300 100 foot wide crack that appeared in Antarctic's Larsen Sea ice shelf. As the crack widened, a piece of the ice shelf the size of Delaware broke away. The loss of this 1 trillion ton ice slab reduced the shelf size by over 12%. Next up at number 6 now we have Lake Mead. This lake is the largest reservoir in the Colorado River system. Scientists have found that climate change is responsible for 15 years of severe droughts there. This picture pretty much says it all. The top watermark you can see is where the level historically used to be and the bottom one is where it tends to fall now. The lake feeds 90% of the water supply for Las Vegas alone. In the spring of 2016, it dropped to its lowest level since 1936. Next up at number 5 now, we have rising bedrock. This is a picture from Greenland that has stunned environmental scientists. The ice sheet there has melted so much that the outer crust of the earth is now visible from above. Not only is it visible, it's actually rising. You see, as the ice melts, the ground that was pushed down by it starts to rise up. Scientists are studying it to learn more about ice sheet behavior, but that's still a bittersweet prize. Next up at number 4 now, we have the Arctic Sea Ice. For as long as humans have been around, there has always been ice covering the Arctic Sea, at least in some part. The Arctic is affected by seasons, just like everywhere else in the world. During winter, the sea ice extends with new ice being formed. In the summer, that new ice melts and then retreats. That old thick ice is not as affected by this, but that looks like it may be changing. As climate change weakens it, it starts to break apart. This creates a cycle because the less of the old ice there is, the less the ice stays intact for the next summer. Alright, next up at number 3 now we have the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands are located in the Pacific Ocean and are home to a population of about half a million people. Their very lives are at risk now due to rising sea levels there. Five of the islands have already been submerged underwater and six more have experienced a dramatic reduction in shoreline due to man-made climate change. On one island alone, 10 houses were washed away to sea between 2011 and 2014. Things have gotten so bad there that the island is now appearing on lists of places to visit before they disappear. Moving on to number 2 now, we have Folsom Lake. This reservoir is located in the Californian foothills and has become the poster child for climate change in that area. The lake has received significantly less rain than normal over the last few years. In 2014 and 2015, the lack of rain reduced the water level there to astonishingly low levels, exposing areas that have been submerged for decades. And finally number one now we have Alaska. Alaska's northwestern glacier used to be a far more imposing sight to see. Check out this image comparing what it used to look like in the early 20th century compared to now. The difference is astounding. Scientists have measured the retreat to be an estimated 6 miles, that's about 10 kilometers, where once there was an impenetrable ice sheet, trees have found a home. It would be a nice picture if it weren't for the larger implications. Alright then, I have to ask, what are your thoughts on the whole 
climate change thing. I already feel like there's angry people in the comments section because this is apparently a controversial topic. I don't know if it is though anymore. The evidence continues to mount. Let me know if you do disagree though. My name is Danny Burke. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>